The United Auto Workers are headed for an entirely different and perhaps most important negotiation now. The U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider has agreed to talk with UAW President Rory Gamble to see if changes can be agreed to to rid the union of corruption. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney has the story tonight from Southfield. These are not contract talks. These are negotiations for the union's very future. The Fed's not happy with the steady stream of leadership convictions at the UAW, nor are they happy with the reforms that have been put in place. In a joint statement released today, U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider said, quote, I look forward to working with President Gamble to achieve what I hope will be a joint effort to resolve some of the serious issues. The UAW's membership deserves our concerted push to bring about significant and important reforms, end quote. Gamble, for his part, said, quote, I look forward to discussing with U.S. Attorney Schneider the many reforms we've already put in place and furthering our efforts on other ongoing reforms for the UAW and our members, end quote. One of the concerns is the disposition of a cabin at the UAW's Black Lake property up north built for former President Dennis Williams. It's under contract to be sold. There's no guarantee they'll come to an agreement. Talks come June 30th in downtown Detroit. Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, we are coming off a beautiful weekend, but some of the grass is getting a little crunchy in some spots. <laughs> it is, and we've got a heat wave coming now, so let's get to Ben's place.